Welcome to Us Crazy Christians, where we uncover Christian myths and Bible misinterpretations with common sense Christianity. I'm your host, William E. Smith, and today we're going to talk about the Great Tribulation. The idea of a hell on earth, seven year Great Tribulation period has haunted and created terror in the hearts and minds of Christians for generations. The main passage used to create this fear was spoken by Jesus in Matthew chapter 24. It mentions earthquake, pain, plagues, famines, false teachers, sufferings, etc. As I've mentioned before in other videos in this series, and you can research for yourself, check church history. But the fact is that all of the first century Christians, all of the church up until the 1800s believed that all that Jesus spoke about in Matthew 24 was in the past. It happened in AD 70, fulfilled all of Jesus' prophecies. It wasn't until the 1800s when false doctrine was spread abroad for political religious reasons that it became broadly a different view of the end times and of what Jesus said in Matthew 24. Research it for yourself. And again, we've talked about it in more detail in other videos. More proof that Matthew 24 was fulfilled, completely fulfilled, in the great Jewish revolt or siege of Jerusalem in 70 AD is that Eusebius, the historian said, occurred, or all of this, speaking of Matthew 24, occurred in the second year of the reign of Vespasian in AD 70. There is a great book. It's a small book on the historical account of Matthew 24 and its fulfillment in AD 70 with the destruction of Jerusalem. It was written in graphic detail by the author George Peter Halford in 1805. It is very graphic and disturbing. Clearly everything Jesus had prophesied you can read a more updated version or easier to read version in Dr. Jonathan Welton's book, Rapturous. The first time I read it, I had to stop reading it. It was, it was overwhelming. It, it was heart wrenching. Talked about people starving in Jerusalem to the point of eating their own children, etc. It goes on and on, on and on. That was truly the great tribulation that Jesus has spoke of. Read it for yourself. Dr. Welton said that if you search the history of the world, you will not find one account of such unnatural barbarism in any other nation, in any other siege in the history of the world, as was recorded about the things that happened in the siege of Jerusalem in 70 AD. The Jewish historian Josephus said, if it had not been for the fact that so many credible witnesses saw these things, he would not have written it or recorded them down because people wouldn't have believed them because they were such shocking violations of nature. That sounds like the great tribulation to me. I'd like to mention that most biblical scholars believe that the book of Revelation is parallel to Matthew 24. So, if Matthew 24 is in the past and happened, is it possible that Revelation happened as well? We, we go into that. We got a whole separate video where we break down Revelations in this series, so you can check that out. Jesus said, there will be great tribulation. And just a few verses later, he says, and all of these things will happen before this generation standing before him passes. As a matter of fact, that reminds me, I want to make a quick um, side note about Eusebius that I had mentioned in one of my other videos. I, had, I believe I had mentioned that Josephus and Eusebius were not Christians. As a matter of fact, they had negative views about God, it seems, in their writings. But I'm going to exclude that and give that more to Josephus because I think that Eusebius he could have possibly been a Christian, but I do know for a fact that he was a Christian historian where Josephus was more of a Jewish historian. 
But I didn't do a bunch of research on those two individuals, so take what I say about their beliefs lightly. But again, I did read um, a, a few things Josephus wrote, and I remember him saying stuff like, uh, a tr calling Jesus like a troublemaker. Uh, you know, he wasn't giving him Lord, Master, Savior vibes from what I remember. But again, I did not research that. All of his writings, maybe somewhere else in Josephus' writings, he praised him as Lord and Savior. But that's not the impression I got from what I did read, okay? But that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to mention that. Is it possible that there is absolutely no future great tribulation? Sure, tough times may come at this current pandemic we're experiencing. It's still on no level the level of a seven-year great tribulation. The one that was fulfilled in the great Jewish revolt in 70 AD. This eases your mind and gives you peace. If you want to see more from us crazy Christians, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning guest and haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. Plus, hit the notifications bell to be notified every time we post a new video. Share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.